people today i have an unboxing by diamond painting deutschland and it's not just a regular unboxing no this one is one of those josephine wall uh, paintings that some of you might already know from other channels with the multiple colors like there are with 200 and so on but I thought I'm gonna challenge myself and I will take a painting with 325 colors so let's get into this box I already opened it it didn't came opened but to avoid struggle online and I'm not so familiar with the work of Josephine Wall. It's not really my... It's a little bit, uh, I might say, all those pastels and everything. That's normally not the type of painting that I i am used to doing. But I thought, oh my god, 325 colors. I really want to... I want to do this one. Because... I used to do some cross stitching and I did one of the kiss one time and it took me three months to complete because it was like <gasps> unbelievable amount of colors so this will be more like cross stitching for me so which one on the on the the lid you can see it's rund it means it's a round one because that's the only one that had that many colors. When you take this same one in squares, it's less colors. So here are the... Oh, look! I got some candy. I'll put this away. Just a minute. Woo! <laughs> All the goodies falling out. So I will show you this afterwards. It comes, the only downside to me is that it's double-sided adhesive. And since I've been working on poured glue for such a long time, it will take some getting used to for me to work on a double-sided adhesive again. But yeah, I couldn't leave this challenge lying there. So what did I buy? I bought Capricorn star sign Steinbock Capricorn and you see the Capricorn and you see a lady on his back so that's my star sign so that's why I wanted to try this one it's a really big one I don't know how I'm gonna do this on my desk but I will try it's not focusing and remember guys, a double-sided adhesive you can not roll back without damaging the glue. So first thing I'm gonna do is try to show you a bit of the picture. But this will be hard I believe because I cannot fit it into my camera. But guys, look at this legend. <laughs> it's the other way around so that's the upside and that's the legend and it says there oh my god what is this oh yeah that's a candy so there it says Josephine Walls Sternzeichen Steinbock 325 Farben shop unter and then then you have all the you have the website 305 and here it mentions uh, so you have the symbol you have the DMC code you have the amount of drills you need and also how many packs of the uh, drills you have and as far I, I as I can see you get one pack for each color so I will be hanging this on some uh, 
pant hangers i will show you afterwards i've got two of them there lying hanging there so first of all i just want to check the canvas and if you pull this backwards be very careful because you have to avoid making more bubbles and rivers but more i don't see many look so this is the capricorn as you can see and the fun fact is um as it's 325 colors there will be lots of confetti but here and there I see also see some color blocking, so it will be a little bit of both, and I'm very happy about that because if this would be all all confetti, I would like say no, that's not one for me. But look, there's the sun. Here are his paws. So or legs, I don't know if it's <laughs> paws or legs with the Capricorn, but anyway, so that's one side of the canvas. And now I, I'm really curious to see the girl, the woman that's on his back. I saw a part of her face already. Trying to pull this back. Oh my god, this is so much confetti here in the bush. So here you have his tail, like you know that the Capricorn, the star sign, he has got like this fish tail. So I will pull them both back. The canvas looks to be of very good quality even though it's double-sided adhesive it seems to be very good quality look there's the girl with the tattoo of the capricorn i believe i don't know if it's i'm gonna look i think that's the star sign so and her hair is or is this her hair it's like there are so many colors in her hair so oh my god this is gonna be it's a beautiful picture now that i see it if you see it on the on the photo it doesn't speak as much but now that i see it in person i really like it it's and and i love the star sign that's over there and the rainbow so i will put this back and as i said to avoid having trouble with Uh, keeping it I will hang it up straight like this so what did I get to help me no first I will show you the rest of the kit so what's in the kit so you have this tube or I might just keep it in this tube because that's a good way to keep it safe and if you are working on it please roll it with the drills on the outside and I believe because the canvas is in, in very good quality oh I've got a, an air bubble here the canvas is in very good quality so I don't think it will be much of a problem if I roll it up again so that's what I might do before I start working on this one. And here our climate is not too bad for, I don't know, I will think about it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about that. So what do you get in your 
diamond painting kit you get a booklet it's all in German so yeah but if you go on the website and you can do Google Translate you can read everything in the language of your choice we've got I really love those and it has got diamond painting Deutschland on it so that's really neat it's uh, it's a pink tweezers with the rounded tip it's very useful you get a multi-placer a four placer and I love these ones these are the thin ones and then you get a oh don't drop it you get a multi-placer and this I don't know what kind it is it's but those are the the bigger kind so I don't really use them so you get a boat plate of wax and a diamond painting pen that's what you get in your kit in your tool kit so let's put that aside then we have we've got some stencils we've got all the symbols so I believe if you are someone who likes to watch the legend to know where which color to use then this is a better way to help you in the process look at this oh my god 325 rounds oh, I think I just lost my mind but I want to take on this challenge because yeah that means if I if I'm able to do this it means that I am able to do like uh, heaven and earth designs and uh, a cross stitch pat pattern with many colors so and what kind of symbols do we have we have all kinds of colors and symbols so I will have to see how I go about kitten that up and a very interesting thing and luckily because otherwise it would take us way too long is you get all these stickers to put on your containers with the symbol and the number underneath so I'm not sure how I'm going to um, because they're really they're numbered like it starts with 150 151 152 153 and so on so on so I don't know if I will be going about it with my legend next to me and just um, finding the symbol or maybe I can uh, or organize it um, the way I don't know if you watched it on um, there's a channel called um, Diamonds and Washi it's Katie she's a very sweet person and she did a Josephine wall one time and she made an organization that I found very practical and very smart so she did all the symbols by color and by kind of symbols so like triangles together and and um, yeah that's a very smart way to do it so I'm I will I don't know for sure how I'm gonna organize this I will think about it because for my organization I bought these little boxes these have 30 uh, containers in them and so I bought 11 of these to have uh, 11 times 30 is 330 so that's enough for 325 colors the containers are a little bit small so I will have to work with my bags next to me to refill often so that's where I'm gonna put my drills into and um, now let's take a look at the drills 
There's a hair inside the package. There's someone there with black hair, look. <laughs> There's a hair inside, but I don't mind. So, I don't know if they're all by number. I believe they are. So, I will take one color out, just one, just to make sure that the drill quality is good, because I saw the drill color quality of the squares, but I don't know anything about the quality of the round ones. Oh my god, so many colors. This is 340... Uh, uh, 3041 and as you can see you don't have the same amount of drills for every color so some colors won't be used so often so this is just a small bag but the drill quality seems very nice seems very good and of course you know me I've got um, a bees that I ordered in uh, on AliExpress. Um, all kinds of numbers. All I I believe it's all the the A B numbers round that are possible. So um, I will be enhancing this. So actually, I should have gotten more um, of those containers. But yeah. So this is. The big, big challenge for me for this year, I will be starting this fairly soon, I think, because I'm just all about those diamonds. Look at them. Look at those packages. It's really huge. So, I think I know what I will be doing tonight. I will be organizing my stuff. For this one, I will show you what I have um because i told you i was going to put it back in the tube but i don't know i don't know look got these these are pant hangers and i hope they are strong enough to keep this painting up because i can imagine when it gets uh filled with diamonds it will get heavier so let's check out if this is a good yeah it's sturdy so this would be a good way to go about I will hang this somewhere safe so not to disturb the the glue too much maybe I have an idea I think what just wait. If it's working, I will show you the result, guys. So, no, it's here, yeah, maybe. I can. Just a moment. I will be there soon. I should pause. I'm sorry. I'm gonna pause and I will show you when I've done so I'm back so this is a way I could be hanging it this is my cupboard where I keep my diamond paintings and stuff like that and it has got yeah much place to put something normally there's a lot of things behind here look that's something I made and but for now I'm just gonna put this back in the tube but this is the way I will be hanging it when I'm done working on it because it's a really big one and I can't keep it laying around on my desk all day so and maybe just to do this one I don't know if I will be able to do it in like uh, one one uh, take because it's a very big one and I don't want to get burned out so I might start another one while doing this one and just keep you posted on the yeah on the 
result. Sorry, can't speak. <laughs> so uh, this will be my my challenge for the next couple of months. So um, I hope to see you back again. I hope to see you um, for my other videos to see where I'm going with my Josephine wall. Um, thank you again for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe or hit the bell and hit the bell to be notified anytime I put up a video. I hope you guys are staying safe because, oh my God, the coronavirus is really raging out there in Belgium it is. So hope you guys are staying safe. Put your mask on, keep your distance, wash your hands and and please just be careful, okay? Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. So, hi guys. As you can see, I'm ready to tackle my Josephine wall with 325 colors. So, what I did was, yeah, I bought, first of all, I bought all these containers. Then I, first of all, I ordered them by number as they come in the legends and then I checked of which numbers I have A, B's or crystals so I wrote that on near the symbol so to remind me oh yeah you have an A, B of this one or you have a crystal of that one and then I ordered them in a way that I would understand much more so meaning this is a trick that I learned from Katie over at um, Diamonds and Washi because she took on a Joseph and Wall already. So she said something about um, <laughs> her brain understanding uh, the organization of the colors. So what I did was, as she said, I placed all the triangles together. And for example, no, this is an, uh, yeah, uh, all arrows, all types of arrows. Uh, these are squares, types of, of squares. Um, these are just by color. These are also more by color. Here are the ones with the dots and the U-turns and the U's, then I did one with letters and numbers and crosses, all types of crosses. And these are uh, indivi yeah, individuals like feet and hands and, and everything. And these are types of transportation. These are all cameras. Then we have got types of batteries and here is all bluish and, bluish and greenish and these are all the rounds round symbols so that's pretty much how I organized I put down release paper to make sure I tackle a little square at a time so that I don't bother with the rest stuff because otherwise it would just <laughs> make me crazy. So I just do a little square at a time and I will try to do the symbols that jump into my eye at first and then as I go on I will do the ones that are less visible. So and I've got a box here uh, with the ABs because I want to enhance this. So, and I numbered all the ABs by number, by DMC code, and all the crystals, so that when, for example, I need a color and it tells me, um, like, oh wait, there's an AB for this color, I go into this and I look for the number 699 and then I take out. Uh, for example, just a moment, I will try to look for it very quickly. 680, so this is 699, as you can see. So that's how, how I'm going to 
go about this painting. So this is my box of ABs. And this is the box with, um, because the, the containers are a little bit small, I must admit. So this is the box with an also numbered by DMC color uh, with the leftover drills. So whenever I need to refill, I can find them. Uh, so to put this up, um, the organization of my drills alone, it took me, I think a full day. And then uh, for making it all ready to start on it, it just took me, I think half an hour more or less. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, but this is not the end of this video because I wanted to do, after this one, I wanted to do the quick review of the painting I did before. And so what I finished is the Seer. It's by Diamond Art Club. The uh, artist is um, Emily Jarich. And look at her. She's just beautiful. This is squares. Look how intricate this design. It's really... And um, yeah, I would give it a 5 out of 5, but then again, I don't like the way this hand looks. Because there's something wrong with it. If you go look into the mirror and you pose like that, you will see what I mean. So this thumb, the thumb should go, it's, it's, yeah, there's something wrong with it. Because this, maybe I could change this so this becomes a line. Because the thumb should be behind the other fingers and yet it looks like the thumb is on in the front. So yeah, there's something wrong with it. But other than that, it's really gorgeous. Look at her. I like this tattoo. And I spiced it up a little bit with... Um, so the colors that were in the kit are these ones. These are um, by Diamond Painting with Sparklers. So those are the colors that are in this kit. So I, wherever I could, I placed them like here in the, in the chain, in her hair. And I placed some darker ABs there. And so because that's more like a gold look. So, and uh, in the earring, I put these ones. And the rings of, the ring of course. And this is a number that's not in the kit, but I placed it on a different symbol. I believe I placed it on the number 415. So here in the necklace, I changed 415 to 318 AB because that looks more like a necklace to me because it's an AB weight. I will try to come a little bit closer. So like this is more a silvery and these are dark ABs. Yeah, I forgot to put those numbers down. Oh, there's a drill upside down. You see, I've went, I went over this painting like Oh my god, a couple of times just to see if I saw something out of the ordinary and sometimes even after that you can find something that's wrong. So I will quickly take my diamond painting pen. And I So guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's wrong. I think there's something wrong with the memory of my phone because my videos keep cutting off and then I get a message that my memory is full but I checked and it's not really full so I don't know what's happening but anyway so um, I started the first square of my Josephine wall painting and um, it's a blast to work on but the symbols are really 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 small so sometimes it's very hard to see them 
I have to work with magnifying thingies, magnifying glasses, so that I can truly see the symbols. So that's the downside, but other than that, the drill quality is just superb. There's no trash, none, whatever, because I saw this when I was um, filling up all the bottles with the drills. There's absolutely no trash. So, thank you again for watching. I'm so sorry about my editing qualities. They're really poor, but... I hope, nevertheless, that you would like to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified anytime I put up another video. And I hope you stay safe and be wise. And thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye.